Well, in this video, we're going to go over polynomial division theorem and uh, remainder theorem. So let's, let's uh, uh, consider any two polynomial functions, f of x and uh, d of x, where d of x is uh, different from 0, and uh, degree of f of x is greater than or equal to degree of uh, d of x. Then there exists unique polynomials q of x and r of x, such that f of x is equal with d of x times q of x plus uh, uh, r of x where f of x is the dividend and uh, d of x is uh, the divisor and uh, k of x is uh, the quotient, r of x is uh, the remainder. So then let's, let's do some examples. So the example says in each of the following pairs of polynomials, find polynomials k of x and r of x as well. f of x is equal with uh, d of x times k of x plus r of x. And then uh, we do have two examples here. The first example is uh, a kind of uh, degree three polynomial to be divided by a linear polynomial x plus two, and uh, in the second example is uh, f of x is a degree three polynomial to be divided by a degree two polynomial. So let's start with uh, the first one. The first one is f of x uh, over d of x, which is equal with two uh, x to the power of three minus three x plus one over x plus two. So to find to find the quotient in the remainder, we're going to divide uh, the degree three polynomial by the linear polynomial x plus two. Then uh, we can apply long division or synthetic division, but the uh, uh, synthetic division is uh, kind of the easiest way, so let's, let's apply synthetic division and uh, find uh, the quotient and the remainder. So, uh, let, me, let me write down the coefficients of uh, the given polynomial function here. The coefficient of the degree 3 term is uh, 2, and uh, we don't have any degree 2 term, means its coefficient is 0. I'm going to write down 0. So minus three and one because minus three is the coefficient of uh, uh, the degree degree one term and one is the constant term. Just I just write down uh, the coefficients all of them and uh, I'm going to consider minus two because uh, when we when we write down this one in the form of x minus of minus two, then minus two will be uh, the real number and I'm going to consider minus two here. So I'm going to consider two first and uh, two will be multiplied with minus two. And it's exactly minus 4, and write down minus 4 here. Minus 4 plus 0 will be minus 4. And then multiply just minus 4 with minus 2, and uh, it's positive 8, write down positive 8 here. The sum of minus 3 and 8 will be 5. Then you're going to multiply 5 with minus 2, and uh, it's uh, exactly minus 10. 1 plus minus 10 is uh, minus 9. So here, 2 is the coefficient of uh, a degree 2 term, and minus 4 is the coefficient of. Uh, uh, degree 1 term and 5 is the constant term, so minus 9 is the remainder. Then the quotient is 2x squared minus 4x plus 5c. 2 is here and minus 4 is here and 5 is here. So the remainder is uh, just minus 9. And then finally we can express the function as a product of uh, the divisor and the quotient plus uh, the remainder. Let's proceed to second example. We're not going to apply long division or synthetic division because uh, you have already seen it and uh, you can do it yourself, but uh, let, me, let me show you the way. Uh, we do have a degree 3 polynomial here to be divided by the degree 2 uh, term x squared plus 1. And then uh, the quotient is x minus 2 and the remainder is 7. So q of x is x minus 2 and r of x is 7. And finally, f of x can be expressed as a product of the divisor and the quotient plus uh, the remainder, which is x squared plus 1 times x minus 2. Plus seven. Let's uh, proceed to the uh, next topic, which is uh, remainder chair. If f of x is any polynomial function of degree greater than or equal to one, and x minus c is uh, any linear polynomial, so when we divide f of x by x minus c, where c is uh, any arbitrary real number, the remainder is always the value of the function at the given number c. Let's let's do some examples. We are asked to find the, the remainder dividing the given function f of x by d of x, which is the linear polynomial, in each of the following pairs of polynomials using the remainder theorem. So we're, so we're going to apply the remainder theorem and we'll find the remainder. Now the first example is a kind of degree 3 polynomial to be divided by uh, a linear polynomial x plus 2. And the second example is uh, a degree 4 polynomial to be divided by a linear polynomial to x minus 2. So let's, let's do the first one and we'll proceed to the uh, second one. And uh, when, we, when we divide uh, the, the given polynomial function, this one, uh, by x plus 2, the remainder is going to be uh, the value of the function at minus 2. Because 
When we write down this one in the form of x minus c, it's uh, exactly x, x minus of minus 2, which is uh, c is uh, minus 2. Then, then the remainder is the value of the function at minus 2. So let's find f at minus 2. Then if at minus 2 is equal to minus 2 to the power of 3, minus minus 2 to the power of 2, plus a times minus 2 and minus 1. So this is minus 8, and this is 4, and this is uh, minus 16, and this is minus 1. So the, the, the simplified form is minus 29. You can, you can check this one using the synthetic division, by the way. So let's, let's proceed to, to the second example. It's uh, uh, f of x, which is uh, equal with x to the fourth plus x squared plus 2x plus 5 is uh, going to be divided by 2x minus 2. But this is not in the form of x minus c. So we need to change this one into the form of x minus c. Then uh, uh, let's, let's divide 2x and minus 2 by the coefficient of x because uh, x should be with uh, uh, coefficient 1. And then uh, when we if, if we divide uh, 2x by 2, it's going to be on the x. Then this has to be divided by 2 again. So over to both sides, over to both sides. So this is going to be equal with uh, x minus 1. So the remainder is going to be uh, the value of function at 1 because this is in the form of x minus c and the value of c is uh, just 1. So let's find f at 1. Then uh, f of 1 is uh, equal with 1 to the power of 4 plus 1 squared plus 2 times 1 plus 5 which is exactly 9. And then the remainder is uh, 9. When we, when we divide just f of x by uh, d of x here, this remainder is uh, 9. Then uh, you, can, you can apply synthetic division to check whether uh, the remainder is just uh, right or not. And this is all about polynomial division theorem and uh, remainder theorem. Thank you very much. I'll be back with another video.